What's up guys? Let's try this again. I made a five minute recording earlier, but uh, it didn't save and the phone ended up freezing. But here we are for round two. Um, all right, so haven't taken many videos this week because it's been, uh, well, I just haven't really felt like it. I really, I've been a little frustrated uh, with uh, my nephew who has done some pretty messed up stuff this week. Uh, if I may be honest with you, I hope it doesn't cause any annoyance to my family, me telling you guys, but this is my vlog. Uh, so, first it started with, I assure you guys already saw the video that said that Gabe tried to, uh, well, that my cat was sick. Well, my cat was sick because Gabe was trying to, uh, teach it how to swim involuntarily. Uh... More or less dunking it than trying to teach you how to swim. If you get what I'm trying to get at here. Um, so my cat was sick and not uh, reacting very well. She was sluggish. Uh, liquid coming out of her eyes and her nose. She wasn't eating. She wasn't moving. And this was for like a 42 hour period I'd say. All she was doing is just laying down. Uh, and she's since gotten better but I was really worried at the time. Uh, at first, we thought that she had jumped in the water, in the bathtub water that Gabe had left fill, filled. That she had, was sitting in the windowsill, jumped down, and fell into the water. And that that's why she got wet. But the next day, when I saw that she was acting strange, and that there was something wrong with her, I confronted Gabe. Gabe admitted that uh, he trapped her in the bathroom, closed the bathroom door, and put her in the water, and started messing with her in the water. But now he's hated my cat. He's had a thing out against my cat for a while. And now if you guys know my cat, which you don't obviously, but you know, uh, she's been in the vlog since the beginning. But uh, she's a very gentle cat. She's super loving, very friendly. Uh, but uh, Gabe's been really mean to her. And so she's like terrified of him. Anyways, so I took his PlayStation away. Uh... And I told him he'd get that back in a while. That he wasn't going to be playing games for a, a period of time. Uh, so, that was Saturday. On Monday morning, Gabriel asked me if uh, he could have his PlayStation back. And I said no. Uh, sorry, Tuesday morning. He asked if he could have his PlayStation back. And I said no, that's taken away for a while. Uh, and so, next thing I know, that evening, my brother tells me that... Uh, Gabriel had told the teachers at school that I was uh, abusing him. Oh, 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 sorry. Saturday, uh, all right, that happened, the drowning thing happened on Thursday or Friday. I can't really remember. I think it was Thursday. Saturday uh, in the morning, I, I grabbed Gabe by his neck, like, right, like this, and I made, and I, I wasn't, like, aggressive about it. It was, come here, you need to sit down. And that's what I did. Uh, and I discussed the uh, the cat incident. And, you know, I had a sit down with him. I was asking him why he did this, what, what his problem is with the cat. I was trying to explain to him how he's hurting people when he does that and hurting animals. Uh, I tried to explain to him how it hurts his father because his father gets frustrated and doesn't know what to do uh, when, when his son dishes, does stuff like that. And... I started explaining to him all sorts of things, the repercussions of these things and, and the, the the problems it causes and who it hurts and, you know, and I, I explained to him that it's against the law to do that sort of thing, uh, that it's cruel. I, I explained to him, hey man, you know, when I first met you, I really wanted to, you and me to become best buddies, but with all the things you do to antagonize or aggravate uh, or the things that you do to my animal, I can't really even stand being around you, and I'd love for this to change. And I and we, I just had a genuine sit down with him, and I thought that I got through to him. I thought, you know, hey, you know, he's understanding this, uh, and so I let it go from there. And I said, all right. Uh, and then Mon uh, Tuesday morning, he asked me to get his PlayStation back. Uh, actually, I think that was Monday. I don't remember which day. I think it was Tuesday. Uh, and I said, no, you can't have that back. We may have talked, but you're not getting that back. That's still your consequence. So Tuesday at school, he tells his teachers that I was abusing him. That I grabbed him by the neck and ringed him by the neck and hurt his neck. And that I was doing, uh, that I was being abusive to him. So I guess we can all assume or guess 
how the school reacted to, to something like that. I got a truck going by. Uh, let's just say it, it, nothing yet has happened of it. Um, but it just blew my mind that he would go and think that saying that sort of thing is okay to, to make those kind of accusations. Uh, I, I don't understand what, what goes through his head. And it really hurt my feelings. It really did. Because I'm his uncle, man. And he goes and does something super horrible to one of my animals. And this is not the first time. It's not the third or fourth time. I would have to say it's not even the tenth time he's done it. It's beyond that. That he's done something abusive towards my animals. And I've been very patient about it. The, every time. I've, been, I've tried to just control myself and not go ape shit on him because you know that's not me i've never been that way uh anyone that knows me they know that about me I, I try to understand things from people's perspective i try to reason out why they act the way they do and i can't reason out why gabe does these things uh now it's obvious that what he's doing the whole he's abusing me thing was probably some was a manipulation tactic because I didn't give him his PlayStation back, so it's his revenge or something like that. Or he was in trouble at school and he wanted to shift blame uh, f or focus from him to he's being a victim kind of thing uh, by trying to start problems. Um, not sure which one it is. So it could be both of them. Uh, but I'm just at a loss because he's my nephew and I want I want good things for him. But it's like... I don't know. I, I know I should just separate myself from it, but it's frustrating because he's my nephew and I want to try and see him succeed uh, despite how much he aggravates me, despite how much uh, antagonizing he does and all those sorts of things. It bothers me because I want him to do good. I want good things for him. I want him to grow up and accomplish something because in this day and age... The kinds of actions that people do when when they're kids, when I was a kid, are the kinds of things that immediately will get you arrested or locked up these days. Uh, I used to do some stuff as a kid that you would get away with uh, back then. You know, bad stuff too. Uh, but today doing those same things, and games on a different level, but today doing the same things I did would land you in jail for a couple years or a youth prison for years uh, in serious charges. Uh, when when I was a kid, they would give you a slap on the wrist, you know, suspend you, expel you, do uh, get you sent to your room, all sorts of things like that. And I don't want that for him, you know? I, I want to be friends with the guy. And those are the things I tried to explain to him, but it seemed like it doesn't get through to him. And I don't know. Uh, <sighs> Iron Banner came out this week. So I've been playing a lot of that. I've been playing some Overwatch because the Halloween event started. Uh, I actually have to head up right now to the front because it's time for me to go home. It's just about 6 a.m. Uh, so I will give you guys another clip, hopefully. So see you then. Josh out.